Hey, what's up? Back for week 11 video blog. Uh, didn't do one last week for week 10. That was Kelvin Gastelum knocking out Colin Hart in an awesome fight. You know, Kelvin the underdog coming in again and uh, winning. So it was awesome to see. And then Dylan and Luke Barnett with an awesome fight. It's probably the best fight of the season. Uh, so, you know, props to all four of those guys. It was all great fights last week and just want to shout them out for week 10. If you're wondering about the supplements in the background, um, that's not product placement, obviously. That's just where I keep them. Now on to episode 11. It featured Josh Shaman fighting me and Bubba McDaniel fighting Uriah Hall. And first I'll talk about the Bubba and Uriah Hall fight briefly because that's all it was. Um, some people like, online and stuff are questioning, like, did Bubba just fall because he was scared and stuff? And if you haven't checked out like the extra scenes on the Ultimate Fighter's YouTube page or anything like that, uh, Bubba actually came back to the house. He had uh, three fractures in his face, like his, the shelving of his orbital or something like that. And uh, he was really, really banged up just from that single punch Uriah hit him with. Uh, so there's definitely no question that wasn't a fall or anything by Bubba. Bubba got hit and he got hit hard. And uh, Uriah is the real deal. So my fight with Josh Salmon, it was a tough one. It was hard to watch. Um, it actually wasn't anything like what I remembered it being. Uh, it was a lot of people forget, you know, online and stuff. People aren't realizing, people that watch the show, they don't realize that, you know, that fight with Clint happened probably like 10 days or so before the fight with Josh. So I wasn't at 100% going into that fight, which is no excuse because we all signed up for the same thing. Uh, and that's why I didn't make an excuse on the show for it. Uh, we sign up to fight up to four times in a six-week period. But, you know, going into that fight, it was a lot different because you know I'm still reeling from the Clint fight and still got bruising on my head and uh, just not feeling at 100%, obviously. And so I think a little bit of my mindset was kind of go in there and get through the fight as opposed to my typical mindset, which would be go in and smash this guy. And you know that affected me because when I'm grappling and stuff, I wasn't being as aggressive as I normally would have been. Um, the Clint fight, you know, every time I fight Clint, that'll probably be the exact same fight. But watching the fight back with Josh, you know, I, there's so many spots where I'm like, oh, I should have been punching there, I should have been punching there, and uh, that's a lot of improvements I've been making since the show into my game is you know incorporating strikes when I can and trying to get out of the mindset of being a grappler and more into the mindset of being a fighter and uh, just you know applying strikes whenever I can versus trying to pass the guard all the time. And so like I realize that's the biggest critique of me right now is just becoming more of a fighter and less of a grappler. And that's 100% of what I've been working on since the show is just kind of making that transition because I spent so long training for sports jiu-jitsu and now I'm really focusing everything on uh, becoming a, a more well-rounded MMA fighter. And at the end of the fight, uh, as far as like tapping and stuff, you know, I, I said I quit on the show because I honestly don't really remember much of what happened at the end of the fight. Uh, they kind of shoved a camera in my face and like, what do you think of the fight? And I was kind of annoyed. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I just quit. Um, but now watching it back, like, I don't remember those strikes, uh, the knees and things like that. Like, when I would recall the fight, even to this day, I remember taking one knee as I shot in on him and then basically just like waking up to a guy on my back hitting me. And that's kind of, I think I panicked a little bit uh, versus really being hurt. Uh, a little bit of its inexperience in the fight game and stuff. I had never really been hurt like that in a fight before. And now kind of seeing I can take those shots. You know, I, I might have got hit hard, dazed, and, you know, I can fight through it. Um, I think it, it was a great experience for me to learn that and be able to fight through that in the future. And so, you know, after that, you know, there's a lot I took out of it in a positive way. I uh, learned how to, you know, fight through getting hit hard and taking strikes and, you know, knowing that I can actually survive through that. Um, also, you know, just getting to fight better guys and, you know, getting crammed all into that little amount of time and fighting tough guys, some of the toughest guys in the house. Uh, it was just a ton of good opportunities to learn and stuff. And then after the fight, even like Josh Sham and a lot of guys, you know, watching the show and, you know, he rubs people the wrong way and he's not all bad. Um, there's a lot of redeeming qualities that you haven't seen yet on the show. Uh, hopefully, you know, you get to see a little bit of that and uh, just see the nicer side of Josh and um, he's not really all bad like everyone thinks he is and especially after the fight he was great to me you know he never talked crap or anything like that or kind of rub it in your face that he beat you he was that's pretty much it for this week uh, i just want to talk about my fight a little stay straight to the point uh really looking forward to next week we got kelvin taking on josh saman and then uriah taking on dylan both of those fights i mean when you see them on paper they both look like awesome fights kelvin's a big underdog against josh obviously but from what we've seen you can never count kelvin out 
And then Uriah versus Dylan. Again, Dylan's a huge underdog against Uriah, I think, especially seeing as though Dylan's been through a couple of wars already and Uriah's made it through the competition relatively unscathed. Um, so both of those fights, you know, they, they get the markings of great fights. So looking forward to seeing those ones again next week. And also just want to thank my sponsors again, Salvation, um, SmartPowders.com. Uh, kinetics. I also thank the schools I'm training with right now, Lozon MMA down in Easton, you know, really helping me put together the MMA portion of my game, training with Joe Lozon, you know, training with Tom for his fight in Sweden. Um, really want to thank those guys for all the help I've had lately with them. Uh, the guys at Mass BJJ, you know, always there, you know, going up there and working with my trainer Nate and uh, getting my technique and, you know, rounds and up there with them. And then the guys up at Triumph MMA in Nashua uh, helping me out as well. And also just a shout out to Thor Trowing and Adam Sella who are fighting tomorrow in Sweden, which is going to be an awesome fight. And uh, Tom Law, like I said, a training partner of mine, uh, he's fighting as well on the card. So really looking forward to that fight up in Sweden tomorrow.